guys, what's up? It's me, Gabby, and welcome back to my channel. This is my very first tutorial of 2018. I know it's taking me a little bit long to get this uploaded and together, but I can finally say that I feel whatever. I'm just excited that I get to finally film in a very comfortable, up-to-date filming area with my lighting, and I just kind of have everything where I want it to be. Um, so I decided that the first thing that I wanted to do was something very highly requested, which was a brow tutorial. And I also decided that I wanted to go ahead and incorporate a full makeup look for you guys. I did get my BoxyCharm box in the mail the other day, and it does inspire me to do a little bit more of a makeup look because I get to try new products for you guys. BoxyCharm is awesome. I believe it's like 21 to $22 a month, and you get full-size products anywhere from four or five six products in that box so I am going to use some of those and I will also link their information below because I do think that it is awesome you get a lot of product for your money I'm going to also let y'all know a little bit more about how to go about filling them in what products I use and then I'll go into the full face routine oh and before I go I would like to remind you guys to hit that subscribe button below click the bell for notifications for when I upload a new video every day anyways we're gonna get this started so what I like to do, the first thing to start my brows off, I take a spoolie, which literally any spoolie would work. A lot of these brow products have a built-in spoolie on them, and it just looks like this. And I usually just start off by brushing my brow hairs up kind of puts them where you think that they should be as far as molding the shape and starting it off. I'm going in with Anastasia Brow Definer Pencil in the shade Ebony and I'm going to go ahead and start by drawing a line on the bottom of my brow first. And then as I fill mine in, I generally go within the, the direction of the hair growth. So like right up in the beginning, I'll start to just do very soft motions up towards my hairline because that's how the hair grows right in there. And you don't want it to be harsh, but every time I lay product down, I will use the spoolie to make sure that everything is blended. start to draw a line up on the top of this brow. I generally don't do that so much with this brow because this brow is, it's actually fuller than the other brow. So, but this one, I kind of have to fake it till I make it with this one. This one, I have to do a lot of work. This is the crackhead brow. And right up in the arch where my shape is, is where I start to really fill in and put a little bit more pressure. And you know, if you mess up, just know that I do, I go in with concealer, you don't have to, depending on the kind of brow you have, but I like to have a more clean, dramatic eyebrow. See, like that, I just messed up, but that's okay. We're going to go over it with concealer. Then I kind of found this new trick where I use the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Dark Brown. And I'm actually going to go in with an eyeliner brush. This is a Sigma E06 wing liner brush. And it has a tip like flat and angled but it's very light, very precise and very small and if I just go in and fill in just a little bit I'll put the back the product on the back of my hand and just kind of rub it off on the sides because a lot of this a little of this product goes a long way and then I'm gonna make hair like strokes in the brow Thank you. 
Hi. It's funny. You should have just called me. <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> I'm actually. But my dad does that too, though. <laughs> I'm filming right now, so. So then I'll take the spoolie again and I'll brush through all of that product. And to clean it up, I'm going in with NYX Full Coverage Concealer in the shade Fair. And I'm going to take a flat, small brush. And it looks like this. And perfect, you can always add more product and you can take it away. That's why I like to do my brows first before I go in with any other product. And then I'm going to take some eyeshadow just to kind of fill in any sparse areas that I missed. I'm taking this City Color Medium Brow Palette. It's their Bold Brow Palette. And I'm going to take an angled brush. And I'm going to take this dark shade right here and go ahead and fill in right up in this area first. See where some of these patchiness is some patchy areas and I'm just gonna fill those in and then I'm gonna take the lighter color in this palette and start to fill in the front of the brow you run it through the beginning of this area right in here And that is the finished brow. Okay, so usually I will take my concealer, the same that I use to carve out my brows, and pull this as my primer down on my eyelids so that I get an even base for the shadows. And then I'm going to set that concealer with this um, Bye Bye Pores Pressed It Cosmetics Powder. This is their translucent powder. I'm going to just set all of that. For the eyeshadow today, I did get my Boxy Charm box. So I'm going to go in with the palette by Crown called Glam Metals that they gave everyone in the box. And this is, these are the colors. And I'm also going to use a palette that I got in that BoxyCharm box last month. And this is their Pure Beauty. And in the crease for my transition color, I'm going to be taking um, Gala and Stunner and Splurge. And I'm just kind of mixing those into my crease as my transition. A Moda Pro BMX 430 brush. Usually I go between this and my scone blending brush. I love that brush a lot. And I'm gonna take this pretty high towards my brow just because I am going to go in with a lot more shadow. And from doing this eye, it starts to kind of disappear. So if you overboard it, it's okay just because it is going to kind of fade and you want this color to slightly peek through on the top. And I'm mostly going into this stunner shade because that's the shade that I really want to pop through. I'm going to carve out the beginning of my crease. So I'm going to take a MAC 242 brush in that same concealer that we carved out my brows with. And I'm going to start basically creating a blank space so that I can do an ombre with the metallics on my eyelid. You can use any concealer, I just find that this one is a little bit of a thicker consistency and it's easier to work with, with this kind of look. Alright, then I'm going to go into this Glam Metals palette and I'm first going to grab the color Pop Rock. 
it on my lid using the same MAC 242 brush. I'm just going to clean off some of that concealer and then I'm going to grab it and I'm going to place it in the inner V. Z shade. Rock on. Place that right next to the pop rock. And just kind of blend those two together. Then I'm going to take the shade Rebel, which is this really pretty copper color in the middle here. And then I'm going to take, okay, and then for the outer edge, I'm going to take this color Wicked, which is this color in the palette. And then I'm going to also take Black Metal, which is this color right here. And that's going to go on the outer V of my eye. I'm taking this on a Bodyography Pro brush and this is going to just smoke out the outer corner of my eye. I really want it to have like that rocky, I'm a rocker type of feel. <laughs> then I'm taking a Luxie 227 and I'm taking a little bit of that black metal and I'm just going to kind of blend this in with the pure palette that I used in my transition shade and just kind of blend these two colors together so that there aren't any harsh lines. Okay, And then of course we've kind of lost some of the pigment that's on my eyes so I'm going to go back in with the heavy metal which is that blue metallic color and apply it a little bit more. on my eye and then I'm going to go back into the Rebel which is that coppery color. And then I'm going to take Rock On which is that really pretty green gold color. And then I kind of like clean off my brush a little bit and just start to blend the two together. Okay, for a wing liner, I'm going in with the NYX Matte Li Liquid Liner in the shade Black. And I'm going to wing out my liner here. I'm going to coat my lashes using Tardis Tarte Mascara and I'm going to apply a generous amount because these lashes that I have are kind of um, not that full. But the lashes that I'm using are just Kiss Lashes in the number KPE10 and these are just, or actually they're in the number 3 but they're just a natural everyday kind of pair. Oh wait, I have to prime first. For primer, I'm going in with Pores No More Luminizer Primer by Dr. Brandt. I'm in love with all of his products. This is something that I also got in my BoxyCharm box and I'm going to just put a little on my finger and just rub that in. All right, and then I'm going in with foundation. The foundation I'm going in is with Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and concealer in the shade Creamy Vanilla. And I'm going to just put this on my little glass Petri dish and I'm using a beauty blender, which isn't damp, but don't feel like getting up. So I'm just gonna do it like this. This one is like so out of work that I really need to just go ahead and get a new one, but I have not done so yet. I have hair color all over my fist. You can kind of go in between your brows with this just with the beauty blender because it does kind of help to fade that you at the crossroads 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 now for concealer i'm going in with my tarte shape tape concealer in the shade light and i'm going to highlight the bridge of my nose with this a little on my chin because 
this really break it out. And I keep it up. And I'm going to cream contour just a little bit. So I'm taking this LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer in the shade Beautiful Bronze. And I'm going to carve out my cheekbones a little bit. And this is going to help give me a little bit of a tan somewhat. And now I'm going to set my face using RCMA No Color Translucent Powder. And go ahead and bake up under my eyes and let it sit, but I'm gonna pull it on the sides of my nose. For the rest of the face, I'm going to take my NYX Stay Matte Not Flat Powder Foundation in this shade Natural. And I'm gonna take this on a Moda Pro BMX 130. This is just a big pointed buffer brush. And I'm gonna set all of that foundation and concealer before I go in with my bronzer and that's just gonna help it lay a little bit smoother. Bronze up my face, I'm gonna go in with the Betty Luminizer Bronzer Bronzing Bandit. And I'm going to take that on a Firma brush. This is their 103 angled brush and I'm going to just put this on my cheekbones so I can get some color maybe down my neck a little. Okay for blush I'm going in with this Real Her Be Fearless be Limitless Blush Kit, and I'm going to take the color Unstoppable, which is this really pretty mauve color right here. Right. And I'm going to go ahead and dust away all the powder up under my eyes now. I'm gonna finish off the bottom of my eyes. I'm actually going to smoke them out just to take the color um, the wicked out of the palette again and I'm just gonna run this under my lower lash line and then I'm going to take a flat morphe m432 brush and I'm going to take this black metal shade and I'm gonna run that really close to my lash line now. And then I'm gonna take that Moda Pro Transition Shade Brush and just kind of blend these together a little bit more. And that just helps to diffuse it a little bit. Now I need a little liner. I'm going in with Urban Decay's Glide On Eye Pencil in the shade Perversion, which is their blackest black, but I need to sharpen it. And then I'm going to take that liner brush again and just kind of make sure that these two are blended out a little bit. I don't like to see lines of the liner on my eye, on the bottom lash line. That drives me crazy. So I just kind of make sure that it's smudged out. All right, for bottom mascara, I'm going in with Rimmel's Lash Accelerator Mascara. This is my favorite lower lash mascara. Do a little inner corner highlight, but I am going to be using um, this NYX Duo Chromatic Illuminating Powder. It has, it's in the color Twilight Tint, and it has like a little bit of a blue undertone to it. So I thought that would be really pretty to just 
pop in my inner corner. Take a little and put it on my brow bone too. Going to set my brows using Rimmel's Brow This Way Brow Styling Gel, and I'm gonna make sure that these are all kind of combed into place. And then to clean that up, I'm just gonna take some more of this translucent powder and run it up under my the hollows of my cheeks, and that just helps clean it up. Right. For highlight, I'm going in with this Pure Bronze and Brightened palette. This is the Dreamer palette. And I'm going to be taking this middle shade right here. take this same small little concealer brush and run this on my nose. I'm going to take this um, NYX Matte Lip Crayon in the shade Sandstorm. Then I'm going to take this Galactic Matte Lip Paint in the shade Demure. Okay, you guys, this concludes this makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a comment below and let me know what it is that you would like for me to film. And with that being said, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.